I am Dr. Kranti Mohan, consultant neurologist from BJS Clinical Global Hospital, Kengeri, Bangalore. I have finished my DM Neurology from Stanley Medical College and I have worked in Chennai in Dr. Kamakshi Memorial Hospital for one year. And after that, I started working in BJS Clinical Global Hospital from last three years. So my experience is around post DM is four years. And I have inter areas of interest of my uh, neurology practices, mainly stroke and epilepsy and Parkinson's disease. Stroke is the most common cause of morbidity and second most common cause of the mortality in the world. So stroke is mainly because of decreased blood supply to the brain or it can, it can be two types of stroke. It can be ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke. Ischemic stroke, stroke is the most common type of stroke. It is 70 to 80 percent and hemorrhagic stroke is 20 to 30 percent of the cases. Nowadays there are very advanced treatment in treating the stroke especially in the ischemic stroke. So initially any patient who develops a stroke we have to recognize the symptoms of the stroke and immediately rush to the hospital. Because nowadays we have an injection called clot buster that is a recombinant tissue plasminogen activator which can be given within four and a half hours when the patient develops a stroke. What are the symptoms you have to notice when the patient develops? There is a mnemonic called BFAST. What is BFAST is B stands for balance, E stands for I, F stands for face, A stands for arm, S stands for speech and T stands for time. So when the patient develops any balance issues like swaying to the one side or in coordination, A, E stands for I. I, I means patient developing loss of vision or double vision. F stands for face, any deviation of the face to one side or drooling of saliva from one side of the face. A stands for arm, any weakness on one side of the hand. And S stands for speech. Speech is any slurring of speech. And, the, and T stands for time. So immediately time means within four and a half hours patient has to reach to the hospital so that we can provide adequate treatment with the thrombolysis procedure. So other advanced management can be mechanical thrombectomy. That is through, uh, through angio patient can be, a clot can be retrieved and the patient can be saved from developing the severe deficits in life. So, be fast and get the patients, stroke patients to immediately to the emergency care for immediate attention.